Hi everyone, welcome to Key to Blogging and in this video I will show you how can create a contact us page like this in your WordPress website. So here I am using the Cadence theme and Cadence Blogs plugin to design this page. So the form is coming from the Cadence Blog plugin. So let's check how can create a contact us page like that in WordPress. So for this let's go to the WordPress dashboard and let's go to the plugin and I will click on add new button and I will simply search for Cadence Blog and i will install this plugin gutenberg blocks by cadence blocks so just install this plugin and if you found this content helpful then make sure to hit the like button so let's activate this plugin okay now the cadence blocks plugin is activated in our wordpress website let me just go to the appearance and click on themes here and as you can see the cadence theme is activated here so to create the contact us page i will go to pages so let's click on all pages here first and let's click on add new button and i can name the page like contact us and let's click on settings and in the permalink i can simply set it like contact now let's publish this page first now let's view the page and as you can see this is how the contact us page looks like so we need to remove the contact us title and make it a full width page so for this let's go to the editor let's close this one and i will click on this button and i will disable the page title here and i will make it full width now let's click on update now let's check how you can create the contact us page so for this we need a row layout of 50 by 50 row layout so let's click on here and i will search for row layout and I will search for two equal row layout of 50%. Now I can click on plus icon and I will click on advanced text here and I will add the text like this. So let me just copy the text here and I will paste the text here. Now I will click on show more settings here. Let me just change it to advanced text first and let's change the font size to 55 like that now let's click on whole row layout first and let's add a background color here so i will click on background setting here and i will add a background like this and let's add a padding and margin so i will add a top padding of 120 and i will add a bottom padding of 120 okay now let's click on whole row layout here and i will click on use theme content inner width and I will click on this button and make it full width. Okay, now it is looking quite good. Now let's copy the text. So let me just copy this text from here. Now I will hit enter and I will paste the text. Now I can change it to advanced text here and I will change it to a paragraph. Now I can adjust the font size. So let's adjust the font size to something like 19 pixel. And you can link the Twitter Telegram link like that. Now let's add the form in the right side. So I will simply search for form. And I will add the form like this. Now let's update this page first. And let's refresh this page. And this is how the contact us page looks like but I don't want the label like name email message so what I can do is just click on the form here and in the name setting I will click on required and I will uncheck the show level button instead of I will add a placeholder like first name and I will click on email here let's click on email setting and uncheck the show label and instead of add a placeholder like email address now in the same way let's click on message setting here close the label and add the placeholder type your message here okay now let's close this one now let's click on submit style and i will make it full to cover the button full width and you can change the submit text like 
send now like this okay now let me just check you can change the color of the button so let's click on here now let's click on the form and here you will see the text color and the background color so let's change the background color like this and you can change the text color like this so i will keep it blue and in hover let's change the hover background color to black and when i hover the button it will change the button color to black so let's close this here and here you will see this option action after submit so you need to check the email button here and you can also redirect the visitors to a new page whenever they submit the send button so let's click on email setting here and you need to add the email address where the email will go so let's add my email address here and let's leave this like that email subject and from email so you need to add the email address to the email address field so you can basically add your own email address here and let's keep the basic spam check and you can also enable google recaptcha to prevent spam but i don't activate it because it slow down the page speed okay now this email subscription box is ready now i can add a social media buttons below this section so what i can do is just i will click on plus button and i will add an another row layout here and i will add a single row layout now let's copy this connect me with social media and i will click on plus icon and i will click on advanced text now let's paste this one and let's change it to align center now i will hit enter and i will search for icons social icons so let's click on social icons here and click to click plus to add so let's click on plus here and let me just find twitter and let's add the twitter link here now let's click on plus icon and then let me just add more icons like facebook okay so in this way you can add the social media links and social media buttons here so let's change it to align center here and you can open the link in a new tab here and you can also show levels like this by clicking on this button and you can also change the icon color from here and change icon background and you can change it to will save logo only or make it as default okay and you can also add a background color to this section so let's add a background color like this or you can keep the same background so let's make it white here and you can also add a divider to this section so just select the whole row layout here and let's click on divider and i will add a bottom divider here so let's add a bottom divider like this and you can also add different divider from here so this one is looking good okay and let me just change to a deep color here like this now let me just update this page now let's click on view page here and as you can see our contact us page is now ready and you can link the contact us page to the menu section here so let's test the contact form it is working or not so let me just fill my name let's add my email address here and i will say like hello this is a test message now let's click on send now button and as you can see it will show a but submission success thanks for getting in touch so let me just open that email address and as you can see the email is come to my email address hello this is a test message so in this way you can add a contact form to your wordpress website and design a contact us page like this 
in your wordpress website so let me just open this page this is our contact us page in wordpress so i hope this video is helpful to you and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and do subscribe key to blogging for more upcoming videos like this and i will see you in the next video thank you